So today we came here to check up on the painting because uh, although the building is brand new, it's not our branding and it's not the color that we want. We're just painting everything white. And we just try to keep it raw and simple, simplistic. Black, white, raw materials, wood, metal. So like if you look up, we have a lot of raw, organic textures. In our old gym, we have our name displayed with our logo and we wanted to bring that same like vibe and then like um, just style into this new place. So we're doing the exact same thing, but because we have a ginormous wall, we were like, well, we can't have the same size because it's gonna look kind of bitch because it literally would only fit like this wall here. So we brought in a professional and he's doing it by hand. So when we got the mock-up, 60 feet looks kind of like a little bitch now after you see the 85 foot one. And since we really want to like get that feeling of Barbell Brigade and like know where the fuck you're at, we're like, you know what? We just have to go with the top one. And there's a, almost a grand difference. I think it's well worth it. It's, it's that feeling we want to convey, you know, like you see it and you're like, I gotta beast it, I gotta dominate humbly. So that's gonna be it, that's gonna be it right there. Once the painting's done, everything's gonna happen real fast. And we'll be in here pretty quick. So our turf just got delivered. It's 500 pounds. We don't have a forklift. We gotta figure out a way to get it down here. Yeah, and he looks at me and he's like, hey, uh, I'm gonna need you and Aaron. Like, we can really move 500 pounds. We have a plan. Aaron's gonna get a rope. He's gonna tie it to the turf, tie it to his truck, and he's gonna drive it out. That's the plan. gym and uh, what we had envisioned is we want the front reception area to be able to have the feel of a Barbell Brigade retail store and I think it's on its way there like it, it really feels like a store that would be on Fairfax or on Melrose in LA but then when you go out onto the gym floor then you beast it and the environment completely changes and that's what we're going for and I think we, we really achieved it when you're given a limited budget you're forced to be creative and I think we got really creative and I like the way it looks. Because if you just have unlimited funding, then you don't really even have to use your brain that much. You just buy all the best shit and sometimes the best stuff doesn't come out with the most money. So I'm, I'm really happy that we were forced to be creative and I think we came out with a product that all of us are pretty fucking happy with. So when we first started, it was just Bart and I and we were just like looking at each other like, what do you think? I don't know, what do you think? Fuck it, let's just do it. You sure? Yeah, cool. And it was one of those things, but now it's like we have a whole family and a whole team of people that were like, hey, what do you guys think? Like, give us your two cents. So it's not only like the barbell guys that are like hella dope, hella down for like the whole barbell movement. We even have like the JK crew, like Casey is actually recording this right now, that like hella supports us. We have like Casey, Tiff, Joe, like the whole JK team behind us that's like believing in this dream for us. So it's like, it adds like a bunch of fuel to our fire and it's really dope. Now with the bigger crew, it's like, we can we can conquer anything. 
I usually sleep like nine hours a day, or I try to, but these days it's been only like six, and uh, I get really tired, but I have a lot of shit to do from the morning all the way till night, so I don't get enough sleep these days, but it's worth it. It's um, more convenient for all the members, and it's a huge location with a shit ton of street parking. There's two bay doors, it's well circulated. It's, it's, I couldn't have found a better place, or we couldn't have found a better place. So it feels really cool to start ripping apart the old gym because I know we're moving into a bigger, better place. We woke up this morning at 8 o'clock. We met up at the gym and we already had like 10 members, like members, not even like our staff or anything, like 10 members down and, and willing to get down and dirty with us. And they had like this whole assembly line thing started. They were like moving the weights and they were moving like all the equipment. What I think like accelerated the whole process is the fact that everyone lifts. So it went really, really, really freaking fast. Within like an hour or two, like 90% of the gym was empty. It looks crazy because uh, this is the way it looked like when we first got the place, just not so fucked up. It's crazy, like it's really happening. It's it's being torn down back to its bare minimum. It just looks like a warehouse now, and it, there's a lot of memories made here. But you know what? Like this is where like the humble beginnings were. But the new place is 200 times better. Everyone is sweating balls. Like we didn't even like get to eat very much. Like everyone was just go 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 right. Um, and then there was a moment, like in this hot ass weather, where we were all kind of sitting down because there was nothing to do at that at that moment. I sat there. And it was just like, I'm here, and I'm experiencing this with you guys, and I'm moving, and it's hot, and I'm tired, and I'm hungry, but it felt so peaceful. You knew that this was the right moment, and the right time, and the right place to be with these people. It was just like, all right, cool, like, now you're home. Who would have known in less than a year we had to move to a bigger place? You have thinkings and philosophies and theory, and then you have actual practical usage. So the things that we thought would work in theory at the old gym at F109, we were like, oh shit, you know what? The monkey bar rack is too close to the wall. That's why people can't squat there. Um, at this gym, people really like to hang out with each other and they like to bring their duffel bags with them. You know what? We need to space the bench and the squat rack away. So we took everything that we planned theoretically, but also applied real life scenarios. And we were able to plan this gym with a combination of both. So I think that this gym, not only is it gonna fulfill both me and Gio's creative vision, but also the practicality that all our members need. Sharing this feeling and this experience with like the members and our staff, I think because of the relationship I have with our members that they're not just members, now they're just like literally friends. Like these are like people I really like hanging out with. It makes this move and it makes this like accomplishment for us, it, it makes it sweeter because it's like, it's cool to have it for yourself, but when you can like pass this feeling forward and other people get to share this experience with you, it's, for me at least, it just it just made it that much sweeter. Because if it was just Bart and I doing this, it's cool, you know, and we're just like, oh, wow, babe, like we did a great job. But to know that all these other people are feeling the exact same thing we're feeling and they're just as attached to this whole thing as we are, it's really dope. It feels like my heart is full. Ideally, we wanted somewhere in downtown LA because we just figured, you know, it's a developing area. There's like a lot of open-minded people just because like there's a lot more CrossFit boxes around that area. There's like a lot of younger people kind of migrating there. So we're like, yo, that kind of sounds like it's more our demographic. 